Hello again YouTube, PBC's Matt here, and today I just want to bring you guys a quick video on PTG bending tips and tricks. I know a lot of you guys come to me with different questions just regarding, you know, first time bending. So I figured this would just be a quick kind of tutorial on what I've learned and picked up over my time bending PTG. Uh, just some useful things to try out while you're doing it. So before I make you guys wait any longer, let's just jump right to it. So first off, I'd just like to mention that I'm using Thermal Take uh, V2 Blur 1612 PTG. Um, I think if you guys have caught any of my previous content, you've probably seen that I use this stuff a lot. Uh, one, it's cheap, and I've also never really had issues with bending it. It seems to work well for me, uh, and it looks just as good as any other PTG that I've used. So just kind of the brand I stick to, so I guess you'd take that as the first tip. Uh, besides that, you're going to want to make sure that you have the proper insert. So this is the Alpha Cool 12 millimeter insert. And if you want to see here, it's actually slightly smaller than 12 millimeters. There is a little bit of play in it, but that is what you want. I get a lot of people that come to me saying that their insert is way too small because it has a little bit of play in it. But as soon as you make one or two bends, especially if you make two bends, if your insert is too tight, you're never going to get it out. It'll just be a pain in the butt. Not to mention it takes a lot of time getting it into the tubing even at first. I always put a little bit of water on mine. Uh, some people use like a little bit of water with some dish soap in it. Whatever works for you really, honestly, just a bit of water to make sure that when it's heating up it doesn't like just start to melt is really all you need. Besides that, you're also going to need a heat gun. Uh, afterwards, after you start cutting and stuff, you also need a deeper or you can use a rigid finishing bit. I have a video for that, so maybe I can like throw it up there or link it in the description below. So check that out. That's also a useful tool. However, today we'll just use the hand tool. It's what most people use and it works plenty fine too. So the first trick that I would have to say to actually bending is actually heating the entire area of the bend. Don't just sit here and just spin it just in one spot really close to the to the gun. You want to kind of make sure you hold it a, you know, a few inches away and rock it back and forth almost as you're spinning the tube. So that way you, you heat just a slightly larger area. That way it kind of helps with getting rid of the flat spots in your bends because a lot of people will just heat up this little area and they bend it and the tube around it will actually just stay not bent at all and it'll just be a flat spot. So I'll kind of just go through heating one up and you guys can watch me and right after I get done with this we'll kind of see how it worked out. Okay, so we'll turn off the gun so I can talk again. As you can see here, it's gotten pretty floppy and it's ready to be bent. So if you want to see what I do here, I have a just a regular carpenter square and that's actually honestly like one of the best mandrels that I've ever used. It's not exactly a mandrel, but it's a good guide to get to 90 degrees. I mean, they're like six bucks at Home Depot. So you can pick up that or just anything that you know is a square right angle. You can use that for 90s. Otherwise, uh, as I said, there's mandrel kits. I use one sometimes. Those are also perfectly viable. So I'm just going to hold this here for a little bit, let it cool down. Uh, but overall, it looks like the bend turned out pretty well. As you guys saw, I kind of rocked it back and forth and it took a little bit to heat up. I only used setting one or whatever, the low heat setting. But uh, that works plenty quickly, and it seemed to heat it plenty evenly, and there doesn't really appear to be any flat spots in the bend or anything like that. So it turned out pretty decent in my opinion. Just some basic tips and tricks, I guess, guys. Uh, tomorrow I'll actually be doing a stream, if you didn't see in like the lower left there. I'm doing a stream in the afternoon where I'm actually bending a bunch of PTG for the CPU loop on my test bench. So if you guys want to just catch more like actual bending and whatnot, check out that stream. If you're watching this video after the streams already happened, you can check it out in our uh, previous videos. Other than that though guys, I hope if you have any questions about PTG bending, definitely hit us up on Discord or Facebook, leave a comment below, and I'd be happy to help you guys get through your first uh, PTG bending experience. Other than that though, I hope you all have a great day. Like the video if you liked it, and subscribe for more. We'll be back.